Hi, my name is Madeline Anderson, and I will be presenting the social justice analysis for me and Veridiana Angulo. So we decided to answer the question one, which is agree or disagree about the arguments made in Berkemeyer and Butterfield article in terms of nursing and social justice. Has nursing lost our direction in terms of social justice, and should we return to the path of social justice? We both agree that yes. Healthcare should be for all regardless of social status. The role of bedside nursing is to care for all patients in a dignified manner. Social justice is to care for patients as a whole, including its community. Bedside nursing is simply bedside nursing, which is caring for the patient and those surrounding their care. Healthcare has taken many turns throughout the years for the role of nurses. In agreement with Berkemeyer and Butterfield, Nursing needs to take a turn for the better in social justice. Nurses exercising leadership in a broad system and make an impact on the patient as a community regardless of social status. One of the concepts we agree um, that supports this statement is compliance. In terms of compliance and access to care, many people who are not compliant are not able to be compliant due to not having access to care. This concept was talked about by Paul Farmer in an article he wrote where he mentions of compliance and access to care, in which many people who are deemed non-compliant are those who are not able to be compliant, mainly due to poverty, also having minimal access to care. Another concept is the idea of healthcare for all. Rationing of healthcare is where healthcare can be rationed between rich and poor, making it available for all classes. Paul Farmer talks about this, where rationing healthcare is brought up in the article in which it could be of help for those rich and poor. Rationing healthcare to the wealthy would leave affordable care to the treatment to the poor, whom are unable to afford care. There's also the idea of healthcare reform and cost effectiveness. Refusing to treat a patient because of poor cost effectiveness is unethical. Paul Farmer says, quote, in a profit-driven competitive marketplace, managed care is an oxymoron, unquote. Reforming health care only by cost effectiveness increases inequality between the rich and poor, according to Farmer. How can we as health professionals decide which lives are worth spending money on and which lives are worth, with, worth saving and which are not? Tong talks about the idea of various power-focused feminist approaches to bioethics. The ideas she talks about are that women tend to be more care focused while men tend to be more justice focused and the most important task to reform all healthcare system that quote neglect vulner neglect vulnerable groups interests unquote and that care not power should be the center of all healthcare she discusses how healthcare ethics have been historically male dominated having the most most ethical values be justice autonomy and non-maleficence. However, healthcare practitioners must learn to share their power with the patients by being more empathetic and not simply practicing in a way that they feel is best for a patient, but in a way that they and the patient feel is best for the patient. In conclusion, we believe that healthcare should be for all, including the community, and that people need access to care in order to be compliant. Rationing healthcare to the rich means the poor can have more access, and refusing treatment due to cost effectiveness is unethical. Finally, care, not power, should be the center of healthcare. Thank you.